Bet on Aces, 95.9 K Ace Country. Last year on Eats 2016, We had a graduation. <laughs> detention officers, right? Yes, seven new ones. Are these going to be used here in the local detention center? Absolutely. And so they've been training since April, right? Yes, 11 weeks. What do they go through? Oh, they went through everything. <laughs> the same thing regular street officers go through? Almost identical. But a little bit more geared towards the detention center? Uh, a lot more geared toward detention center. They're going to go in and, and search uh, cells and people. and They have uh, more of a function of hands-on with, with people than the uh, patrol officers do. Close to 60 applications. Um, we lose a lot in the physical testing portion. Um, for instance, I think we're at about 20 that showed up for that test, uh, or 20 that succeeded through that test, and then there's oral boards and a written test. And at the end of it, we ended up with 10. Three of them didn't make it through the academy, and we ended up with seven to graduate. Are you going to be having any other opening? We will. We have several positions open now. Uh, we were waiting for this academy to finish so that we could start a second academy. Um, this is the first Cat 3 uh, jail academy in Nye County. Mm -hmm. And so it's been very uh, time consuming for us. Uh, traditionally in the past, they only educated detention deputies by using books, uh, like a home study type uh, program. And then they would join uh, patrol academies for things like defensive tactics and firearms. And uh, when, when we reevaluated it, uh, Sheriff Worley and I decided that they needed uh, to have the training and expertise to survive. And so we put together this academy um, to be able to do that for them. So when will the next classes start? We're shooting for June. Um, but we have to recover and, and start moving. This was a very trying academy because, as you saw, our numbers were very few. And running a jail with 150 to 170 inmates, depending on the day, with four or five staff members is extremely difficult. Um, and we have to manage the Tonopah Justice Court, the Beatty Justice Court, and the two Pahrump Justice Courts, and the two District Courts at the same time with uh, staff not enough to do that. So this one was super trying. So these seven joining the ranks will make that much easier on the next academy because we should have a better staffing to at least bring us to some level of fluidity.